hey you guys so i am back with another video i have a lot of stuff in front of me honey so in this video i'm going to be showing you everything all of the products that i have been using of the course for the past i would say girl since the coronavirus hit <laughs> basically for the past four or five months and a lot of these products i have been using consistently i've been slowing down on product reviews my hair has been thriving and yeah some of these you guys are familiar with there's probably one or two items here that are new maybe three but besides that i've been very consistent with the products now it is a lot it is a lot but depending on what's going on with my hair would depend on what product i'm going to use okay so starting with cleansing products, we're going to start with shampoos. We have Cream of Nature's Oregon Oil Sulfate Free Master and Shine Shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff. Now I believe this is also, um, if you're protein sensitive, this is a great shampoo. I don't have an example, but I have been using TGINs. I just finished it, the TGIN Moisture Shampoo. I'm putting it in a bag I have here, you guys. Another shampoo I've been using is the Olive Oil ORS Olive Oil Creamy Alloy Shampoo. I love this stuff, y'all. Now, when it comes to my shampoos, I tend to dilute it with a little bit of water, and I like to add either peppermint oil, tea tree oil. Like right now, it's, I need to wash my hair. It's dirty. And so I will probably be adding a little bit of tea tree oil to the applicator jar, and I like to apply the shampoo directly to my scalp. And then I also shampoo my hair, okay? And then I also have the Suave's Clarifying Daily Shampoo. I use this properly monthly. Uh, I don't necessarily dilute this, but I do put it in the applicator jar, okay? When it comes to conditioners, I go in between about four or five, and y'all, I do not. I'm very heavy handed when it comes to my products. I will probably get two usages out of this and this is probably six, 28 ounces girl this is supposed to be for about four or five usages not vivian so this is <laughs> suave's almond and shea butter conditioner absolutely love this conditioner and shampoo but i i definitely prefer the conditioner a new conditioner by suave that i've been using is the uh, is the alloy and water lily softening conditioner made with um aloe vera extract and vitamin e now this is supposedly protein free also y'all let me adjust the light here it's a little too bright and i do apologize okay so um we have suave's tropical coconut i actually do use the conditioner but this is the shampoo love this conditioner trying to make sure i'm getting all the conditioner you guys sometimes i use one of vo5 moisture milk because a lot of vo5 shampoo excuse me well shampoos too a lot of their conditioners are actually sulfate free okay if you're like that if you're on that route but you guys sometimes i have to use sulfate so i'm okay but you know you guys sulfates are not they serve their purpose okay so don't be afraid to use products that have sulfates in them all right i'm trying to figure out where i'm at let's go into sprays we have apogee keratin and green tea reconstructor I get, I get this from sally's and sometimes amazon let me back up and go over deep conditioners and hair masks because i showed that spray here but we have the ors hair mayonnaise made with nettle leaf and horsetail extract okay now i do want to say everything i'm showing you nearly everything i'm showing you i do have a review on now this is one of my favorite ones oh yes queen helen cholesterol hair conditioning cream i typically mix this product with um with honey and a little bit of oils this stuff is so thick look at that really really thick okay another winner for me is it eden body works natural hair mask treatment this is also protein free and one of my new favorites is by African Pride. It's in under $5. I will take her. The Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask. All right, y'all. Now, let's get into leave-in styling products. Girl, <laughs> lot of body. We like the potty. I'm sorry, y'all. Lot of bodies, coconut and shea oils, moisture me, curl and style milk. I have been using this stuff for the longest. I actually bought two. Um, it's a very lightweight leave-in conditioner. It does not leave your hair feeling heavy. Great. Um, I love to pair this with their mousse for a perm rot set or any type of rot set. It gets my hair great bounce and great hold. This is also protein-free, okay? 
Next up we have, girl, do you see that? <laughs> Y'all, I'm so petty because I felt like I was stalking, let me tell you what it is. It's the generic curl defining cream compared to Shea, Mer Shea Moisture's Coconut and hibiscus. Well, basically, girl, the curl enhancer smoothie. Y'all know what it is. The one in the um uh tangerine, orange, pink. Is it tangerine or pink, girl? In between that color, curl enhancer smoothie. So I told y'all when I first reviewed this, and I think it is now they no longer make it. They pulled it, or you know, whatever. It's discontinued, girl. That's the word I'm looking for. It was on sale. At one point, I think I got it for like $3.99 or something. Let me tell you something. I went in that store every day and was getting, I felt like one day I would go in with glasses. The next day I would go in with no glasses. The next day I would go in with a, you know, my hair up or with a scarf. <laughs> I, kept, I kept purposely changing the way I look. I know this is so, it doesn't make any sense. I'm like the only black person going in there every day, especially in my area, where there's like 2% black people. So I went in there and the lady was saying, hey, how, how are you doing today? I'm like, you don't know me. <laughs> so the generic curl defining um, curling cream is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best leave-in it could be used is a styler but i also use it as a leave-in but baby when i pair this with a gel i get the best definition i will be linking that review too i'll be linking all the reviews that i'm showing you guys okay now we have i know some of you do not like this product but i i do enjoy it it's the camille rose honey hydrate from the leave-in collection this is a sticky leave-in and i rarely use this when i'm about to style my hair if I'm going to, or if I need to moisturize my hair and I'm gonna be wearing twists for a while, this is what I use. I don't use a lot, okay? You don't wanna use a lot of this, okay? And I still have, I've been using, yeah, I, this is my second bottle. I've been using it for a while, look at all my hair. Yeah, you do not need a lot of this, okay? And Okay, y'all, and TGIN, I love Christia products. I know some people say that they are hit, hit or miss with them, and actually, she was just here in the valley. I hate I hate that I missed her, um, the owner of TGIN, Christia. So we have her Buttercream Daily Moisturizer, okay? And I know y'all didn't really see that, sorry, okay? And then we have her twist and define cream. Now her buttercream, in my opinion, her buttercream is thicker and I tend to prefer this in all honesty, okay? So moving right along, we have Kinky Tresses. Sis has a new, um, she has a new look. I'm trying to get my hair out of it. And honestly, I've been using her, I've been using this styler more than anything even more than my diy buttercream which is the bomb.com so this is her coconut mango hair butter it smells so good it smells so good it gives me great definition um i love the consistency i do have a formal review on this product i think i have several um tutorials where i use this along with her hair milk avocado infusion hair milk i know that the light is a little bit of bright there on there all right y'all as and the last type of buttercream or whatever that I'm going to show you guys is by Cryo Botanicals. She sent me a message about this a while back, actually. And I will be, I don't know when I'm going to release this video. I should have the official review up by now. But when I tell you, I absolutely love this all-in-one conditioner. Look how big this is. Let me show you a comparison. This is the TGIN. Look at that. Look at that, girl. So this all-in-one conditioner, it was great as a deep conditioner, as a leave-in conditioner, as a styling, you know, pairing it with her other styler, as a pre-poo. Let me tell you something. I literally have enough as a leave-in for, you know, for, for styling. That's it. I may use it to, to pre-poo my hair again. I love this stuff, y'all. I would definitely, definitely be getting this again because you can use it for so many things. And that that's the purpose for this particular product, okay? Absolutely love it. Again, it's the Cryo Botanicals All-in-One Leave-In Conditioner, okay? Now, last but not least, the last product we have is the Extreme Styling Gel. And let me tell you something. I told y'all. I know y'all be wanting to see, you know, can you, can you show us that wash and go? No, I can't. 
because as soon as I turn that camera on, as soon as that red record comes up, it's going to be a flop. I don't know if it's, if it's me speaking it into existence or what, but I rarely can film a great wash and go. But baby, let me be at home in my mommy uniform. Oh baby, my wash and go is banging. So the picture I shared on my community tab, on my community page, a couple of weeks ago when I was just checking in with you guys, I used this. I used this along with this. Oh, several times. This, this together, great. T well, it's actually the TGIN Twist and Define Cream along with this wonderful and it's so big and it's very very affordable matter of fact y'all know me i'm trying to save my coins okay i ain't got i'm not balling i'm not one of those i'm not gonna front like i'm boiling i'm about balling because i'm not i need to save my money so everything here is very very affordable i'm scanning i don't think anything is over ten dollars no i don't think so no everything's very affordable so all right you guys that is it thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all my subscribers take care bye